Okay then, lovely people of the synth world. Um, I'm sure you know who I am, Mr. Uncle Oliver Davis from the Circuit Symphony doing his, well, I think this is my first video of 2012. Um, this isn't really a musical update, this is more of a technology update. Um, so this is what I'm working on at the moment. This is the Akai um, X. 700, can't see it but it's under there, it's the X700, there we go, sampling keyboard, and um, this is one of Akai's first sampling keyboards, well, in fact is the first sampling keyboard uh, that Akai did, using the amazing quick discs, um, they're 64k each side, and they're an absolutely nightmare to repair. Um, basically I've spent a few weeks now trying to repair Bowler, Roland, quick disc drives. Basically what happens is the belt from this part onto the gears just perish. Um, not because of use, just because of the age. Simple as that. So I spent, a, it must have been a good hundred pound trying to get all the belts, all the drives. Still no luck to be honest with you. Um, and again, there's all the quick discs and piles of them there. So I thought, okay, you know, this thing can sample in 12 bits um, and it's got a really nice, warm, retro, gritty sound. So, how do I use it? Unfortunately, the Akai S700 or X700, the rack. This is the X, the rack is the S. They don't actually use standard um, SDS, which is sample MIDI. Uh, which again takes about five years to transfer about, I don't know, about two seconds of data. But there are two computers that can actually send and receive MIDI bulk data from these things. One being the Atari, which is there, which are custom sprayed white. And one being the Amiga, which again I've done up, I've got the bar from the keyboard is a bit yellow. Unfortunately, this little, um, you know, for the people on here, this little bastard, unfortunately only had 512k of RAM, so I couldn't actually use the, uh, I think it was Steinberg's Avalon um, software. Unfortunately, I couldn't use it because it was limited RAM. So the cheapest option was to buy 1200. So there we are. That's my setup in the studio at the moment, just dedicated to the Akai and the Amiga. So we've got the uh, flat screen, the X700, and the Amiga, and the MIDI interface that's not wired up yet, but it will be running Workbench 3, and I will be using Sample Wrench to upload and download all my data from this, not just raw waveforms, but the whole presets, you know, the, all the program facilities that you have on the X or the X700. You know, the loop points, the delay, the filters, the levels, the release, all that will be encoded in the dump back and forth. So that's it so far. Um, yeah, enjoy really. A uh, bit of a random video, but I just want to put something up there on the, uh, on the net. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I've got a dedicated workspace, not just for um, the X700 system, but really to get Octomed back on there do some nice uh, old school sequencing as well, uh, what I used to do when I was a kid, and get it all set up again. And I've also got an 8-bit Techno Sound Turbo um, audio interface coming for sampler, coming for the Amiga as well. Um, and this is what I'm experimenting with at the moment, is uh, some old vintage samplers again. Well, the E6400 Ultra, not so vintage, but um, really sort of trying to step back into, into the mid-90s to try and produce just using samplers and the MIDI sequencer rather than you know big doors like sonar and things like that so you know limitations are good certainly for for the projects that I'm doing um, might as well have a quick look at the Akai this is the uh, CD3000i which apparently doesn't sample but it does actually have audio inputs or sample inputs at the back. Um, well, analog inputs, as you can see. 
and obviously SCSI, but I mean, we've really tried them out yet. But the good thing about this, apart from the new screen that I fitted, which is nice and bright, is that they can import Roland um, sample CDs. Personally, I think better than what the E64 can do, to be honest with you. And it's, uh, what, there's 8 mega RAM in there, so uh, built-in CD-ROM drive. And away you go. Pretty boring video, but I just thought I'll uh, update you on all the things I'm experimenting with in the studio at the moment. Oh, and my new poster, obviously. 1998. No, 1988. And that's about it, really. Enjoy. That's about it, really. Um, Good to see you. Maybe you've got anything to say. Nope. Until OMD. Nah, they're always a child. Okay, well, I'll leave you with that then. So, hopefully, in the next video, I'll show you um, sample wrench and Amiga. Media interface and other things running nicely. Bye bye.